Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Lee Aaron Kneading, the Medical Director of the Cancer Center for Healing and Center for New Medicine. And our goal is to educate and empower individuals and their family to live the best life possible. And I'm here sitting with Dr. Daniel Loney, who is our lifestyle expert. And we are gonna be talking about the teeth and the mouth and how it influences your body. Every day, I'm in awe of the miracle of the body. And every day, we are learning and discovering new things that are affecting the body and things that can help us. And I was reflecting this morning on the Hippocratic Oath. And the Hippocratic Oath is the oath that all doctors enlist in. And it says, first, do no harm. And here at the clinic, and what we try to teach is how to enhance our body, how to not harm our body, to give our patients informed consent on everything that we are prescribing and other doctors are prescribing. That is our dutiful responsibility, is to help you understand everything that's going on with the magic of the body. And when it's not going on, what we can do in a non-injurious way and a non-immunosuppressing way. So let's talk about the mouth. The mouth is the gateway to the rest of the body. And believe it or not, the mouth is the gateway to introduce infections and incredible inflammation to the body. And it's a, a very occult process. What does that mean? A real hidden process. You may not know that you have an infection in your mouth. And I would say that probably most people probably have some kind of brewing infection. That's why it's so important that every physician and dentist really know how to discover infections in the mouth and how they affect the body. Now they're saying that 80 to 90% of diseases of the heart and cancer are related to a brewing simmering infection in the mouth. The mouth has its own oral microbiome, which means we have the microbiome here, but we have the oral microbiome in our mouth. And we all have to learn to respect and honor this beautiful natural process. So Dr. Roni, uh, I know you're always telling people about inflammation and about, you know, all the things they have to repair their body. So let's, let's talk about what patients, uh, what you're encountering with patients yeah. every single day. Yeah, the, I mean, great intro because what we look for here at the clinic, right, which Dr. Keneally has set up, has trained everybody on, is understanding that inflammation is the root of all disease. And then what we have to do is look at where the inflammation is coming from, right? Or I use the term, there's a fire in your body. We have to find where the fuels are coming from, right? They could be everything from what you're eating, your gut health. It could be your liver not detoxifying properly. It could be infections, which Dr. Keneally mentioned. And those infections could be bacterial, viral, parasitic. They could be in the form of fungal infections like molds and candida, right? Then we could have heavy metal burden and we could have non-metal toxins like those found on foods or in foods, uh, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides. I mean, that list is pretty long. But the point I'll make is what we're seeing is these multifaceted or multi-causal, right, causes of inflammation in the body. And so big picture is if we're going to, re going to restore health, we have to reduce the fuels to the fire thereby reducing the inflammatory fire. Now your body's in homeostasis, it's in balance, which then your body can fight the fight. It's a, it's a very, very powerful recuperative restorative organism, your body, but not when it has all these different insults to it. Mm -hmm. So big picture, one of the areas that we're finding major insults to that inflammatory process is in the mouth, right? So we see uh, copious amounts of bacterial infections. We'll see heavy they metal. It, they call it periodontal disease. Per, you're right, correct. And, and it's peri, it's around the teeth. And as we age, 
you know, sometimes when people have dental recession, those infections, they get in the pockets and it gets more fulminant. Uh, then go on. Yeah, and so, so you have those bacterial infections. We could have heavy metal burden because of the fillings, right? And then we could have toxins that are created from the overloaded bacteria. And so those three things, really, right, in the mouth, can create major fuel to a fire, right? Now, think about this, because patients ask all the time, well, how does this happen? Well, it's not usually one thing. It's usually multifaceted, where, again, we may have the gut involved, we may have infections, then we may have a liver that's really overburdened and not detoxifying properly, et cetera. The point I'll make is with the oral cavity, we have to start looking at that, I think, more aggressively because the research, as Dr. Keneally said, is becoming more and more evident that it's a major source of chronic disease. So if inflammation is up overall, your immune system is going to be overworking. It's going to increase these inflammatory, we'll just call them proteins, but these circulating inflammatory proteins that are going to start degenerating the body at a cellular level. So whether it's cancer, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, neurological chronic, diseases, exactly, pulmonary neuro diseases, COPD, asthma, there probably isn't any disease process that's not related to inflammation and something with the mouth. So um, let's focus really on the mouth. Sure. So I, and, and I didn't learn this in medical school. Mm -hmm. I have learned this in discovering the magic of the human body. So one of the things that when I was a little girl, uh, I received mercury fillings, okay? Well, now they have the first mercury-free dental school, and now they have a worldwide foundation to educate people on the dangers of mercury. Mercury is a heavy metal. It has no place in your body. It is so neurotoxic to the system. And then every time you chew, you're releasing gases. If you just go on YouTube, you can see the pictures. It's releasing gases of mercury. So many years ago, about 20 years ago, when I read about this, I had my mercury fillings removed. Now, I will give you a word of caution. I have a beautiful handout on how to properly remove mercury fillings. Dentists today primarily do not do mercury fillings uh, because they know, and it's been discovered over the last 50 years, that mercury is a very, very toxic metal. I have another handout, facts about mercury. So please request those for your own personal education so you understand the dangers of mercury, whether you have them yourself or whether a loved one has them. So that's the first thing. So they have to be removed. Number two, and they have to be removed properly. Properly, correct. The number two thing are root canals. So root canals happen, like Dr. Roney said, you know, these things happen because the body gets overburdened with whatever, whether it's stress, whether it's not eating, whether it's the not having the proper nutrition, whether it's not taking care of the teeth properly, uh, whether you have too much toxins. The body just has this perfect homeostasis like it's trying to get into all the time. It's taking care of you all the time. So root canals, what they are is root canal. Most of the people have an attack of pain. They go to their dentist, the dentist says, oh my gosh, you have a root canal. The root canal is an infection, okay? It's an infection. And what you have are these dental tubules that go up miles into the area. Now there are some proper ways of hopefully restoring that and killing that root canal, but you have to go to a dentist who is really, really, really schooled and has not only taken the what they learned in dental school, but the new modern medicine, there's a new discovery every day about how to better take care of ourselves. So we need to take advantage of the latest literature and the latest studies and the latest books. And that's what I do. That's what we do every day is we're taking She's courses. Really good at it. We're taking courses. We're constantly learning what's the better way to take care of ourselves in a non-harmful wet matter. Right. Okay. And to, to piggyback on that, with the root canal or teeth extraction or tooth extraction, Sometimes there's pockets that will develop and those pockets create 
uh, they'll use the term cavitation, right. right? So a cavity is a hole in the tooth, right? It's a decay, decayed area of the tooth. A cavitation is a decayed area in the bone, right? So what we'll see is from these root canals, bacteria will settle in and start to decay, they call it necrosis, the bone and then the bone develops holes. Well, the bacteria then settles in those holes and now your body is chronically responding to that. So your immune system has to constantly look at that and say, that's not normal and attack and thereby increasing the inflammatory process. So those cavitations, right? You were probably getting to that, mm -hmm. but those ca cavitations are now a big deal. So finding them is a whole other story. So right. we'll because a yeah, because a dentist has to understand about cavitations. You've got to do a panoramic CT to discover those cavitations. So, and they have to be removed properly. You have to do research. I have lots of referrals, but you have to go to a dentist who is constantly researching and learning the new protective ways exactly. to take care of your mouth. Okay, exactly. I'm telling you, there's a whole science to this. There's nothing simple. You drill and bill is not the kind of uh, dentist you want. You want a dentist who really understands the depth of this problem. It is nothing simple by any means. Nothing in this miracle is simple. Trust me, I'm 63 years old and every day, like I said earlier before, I'm in awe of the miracle of the yeah, body. Yeah. So the other thing, so generally the other big area is periodontal disease and that is just chronic inflammation and infection in your mouth so what is the problem with this well like dr roney said is our immune system has got to amp up to take care of it but it's got to amp up for all the other things in the body that's right you know? that's right it can only <laughs> so, take so much it can only take so much right. and so so uh periodontal disease and i always tell people and what i learned you know as a student of medicine it's not just the infection itself. And all of us, let's face it, I know I draw people's blood. We all have some kind of chronic infections going on. And if your C-reactive protein, which is your non-specific marker for inflammation is elevated, there's something brewing, simmering in your body. So the right. fire's in the body, the inflammation, and you gotta get rid of it. And you gotta find the source of it. And that's the, that's the fault of conventional medicine is they go, oh, if you have high CRP, well, there's not a drug for high CRP, so I don't know what we're going to do. And then they just ignore it. Well, no, here, that's one of the number one things we deal is inflammation. Yeah. But what is the cause of these chronic, what is the, what's the bad result? Is it is making toxins all the time. So whether you have bacteria infection, a viral infection, a parasite infection, or a fungal infection, it is chronic toxicity. And that's why you don't feel good. So I'll give you a glaring example. When you get the flu, you know, you feel by the a sloth. You feel like a blob. You don't feel good because it's not just the virus. It's all the toxicity it's making. So, you know, when you get over the flu, you go, oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, I have my life back. So, so it's these chronic, chronic toxicity that we're producing and it makes you feel bad whether you're cognitively impaired you have aches and pains your energy levels are low and everything so we have to deal with the toxicity because the toxicity is creating chronic rusting they call it in the scientific world oxidation but it's really chronic rusting degeneration that's, that's why we have something called antioxidants so antioxidants help get rid of the terrible toxicity for example one would be lipoic acid lipoic acid is a very powerful antioxidant we try to test every patient what the level of lipoic acid the, almost always low by the way yeah by oh, exactly and i personally take it every day yeah. the other antioxidants are vitamin a vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium, vitamin E. And then you have this special category, the glutathione, the coenzyme Q10. So that's why nutritional testing, instead of guessing, is the best way to know what to take. We don't try to blindly go, okay, take these 100 supplements. No, we do the testing to ascertain what does each person need. 
Otherwise, you're just guessing, and guessing is never a good idea. So we have to, and then we've got to help get rid of the toxins. So what can you do? Well, first of all, you want to partner with a medical profession who understands the importance of the gateway, the mouth, to the rest of the body, and how it can be detrimental to your system and create and cause the two top diseases, which are heart disease and cancer. Number two, what you can do is lifestyle. We, you know, everywhere you read is around the world is lifestyle and honoring the rules of that lifestyle are the basic tenets of living well. So doctor, when you talk about the lifestyle. Yeah, so I mean, number one, I always say is what you put into your body, right? So the nutrition that you put in, food is really medicine. And that's the way we want to look at it. That's how we want to be able to fuel our body, create low inflammatory response because we're putting that food in the system consistently, right? So if we're, and just briefly, we'll talk about the, I use the term paleo, right? If you're on a deserted island, what could you eat? Well, you could pick it or chase it. If you don't, and, and what that means, it's, it's one ingredient. It's very simple. It's your good meats, organic, if you use meats, it could be plant-based. It's your good fats that, are, that, are, that the land offers. And then the final one is your carbohydrates, your, your vegetables, some of your fruits that are very natural and organic. If you live, even live that lifestyle, putting those things into your body, you're going to create low inflammation from your foods. That's critical, right? So we start there. Lifestyle point number two, sleep. It's so detrimental. Uh, getting to sleep, the 10 to 6, falling asleep around 10, getting up around 6, maybe a little, there could be a little buffer on each side there. But it shows that around 1 or 2 p.m. with that, copious amounts of growth hormone is released, which is repairing your body. So sleep is another big one. And then water intake, clean water, right? And we talk about this all the time. Not the water from a tap or... Um, from a well or something like that. We have to have clean water, whether it's filtered throughout the house or what we drink. We would recommend both, but we understand that that could be an issue as well. But I would say for me, those are my top three. Mm -hmm. What I put in, and of course exercise, that's really up there as well. So exercise, uh, sleep, water intake, and, your, uh, and what you put into your body are going to be a good start, generally speaking, to get this body working much better. And of course, like Dr. Uh, Keneally said, your antioxidants are going to be key. Your anti-inflammatories like curcumin, resveratrol, glutathione, vitamin D, critical in that, in that immune regulation and anti-inflammatory response. And then of course, big picture, we've got to get rid of the fuels, right? And that's part of this whole topic or the topic of this is the oral cavity and how it can fuel the fire. Right. So if we can do all those, which is a lot, I understand, but that's that's a good gateway or good start to, to optimal health. Right. So my final takeaway to mm -hmm. take care of your mouth that you can do at home, because mm -hmm. our goal is to teach you self-care, which I call is the new health care. Right. So is one, and I talk about this but in my book called The Cancer Revolution, oil pulling. Mm -hmm. Get a tablespoon of coconut oil, olive oil. The best tasting is coconut oil, I'll tell you right now. And you put it in your mouth, swish it around for about five minutes. Do not put it in the garbage because you're, you're, I mean, excuse me, in the in the sink because you're polluting the uh, water system. So you put it in the garbage mm -hmm. and you spit it out, okay? Because the oil amalgamates all the, the uh, chemicals out of your body. And also coconut oil is a natural antibiotic. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, Good filtered water. Rinse your mouth with good filtered water daily. You were talking it, about picks, right? Yes. The, the, pick, the mm -hmm, second thing picks. is a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, that's how I wash my hands in between patients. And uh, you can put a little bit of mouth. It's a natural antibiotic, very inexpensive. The other thing is ozone. Ozone intravenously, rectally, is a phenomenal anti against all bugs, viruses, bacteria, fungi. So so if patients are really sick, like in our clinic, when we see patients who already have extensive heart disease or extensive um, cancer, they most likely will be prescribed intravenous ozone. It is used all over the world. 
There's thousands of studies talking about the efficacy of ozone. So I hope this information helps you to take better care of yourself.